I'm sorry, I'm constantly getting muted by the host. I hope I'm unmuted now. Am I audible to you? Yes. Okay. Right. So hopefully there should not be any more uh, muting by the host. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm Amit Goel. I head edX for uh, India and Southeast Asia. Uh, I'm based in India, and uh, I've been with edX for about six years. Uh, over the last one decade, or actually 12, 13 years, I've been working extensively in the education technology space. Uh, prior to edX, I used to head uh, education for Samsung. Uh, you know, which is, uh, you know, a leading company, and I'm sure you would all know, I used to head their education solutions. And uh, during that part, uh, I interacted with a lot of schools, colleges, universities across India, Asia, and European region. And I worked closely with the teachers to, uh, you know, move them online. Prior to that, I was also working with Ministry of Human Resource Development, wherein I was responsible for creating the cheapest tablet PC of the world. So, all the teachers out there, I, I hear you. I understand your apprehensions, expectations, and all things you need from education technology. So without further ado, I'll uh, quickly jump on to the topic, <clears throat> starting with an introduction of edX. What is edX? So edX is a nonprofit organization which is founded by MIT and Harvard University. Uh, we at edX are all part of MIT employees. edX is a vision-driven organization. Uh, we started with a vision of providing access to high-quality education to everyone on this planet. Uh, especially in Asian countries, uh, you know, the Asian parents, they give a lot of emphasis on providing access to high quality education. I'm sure you would all know <clears throat> the pressure that Chinese students face, the number of courses that they have to take just in order to make it to a good college or a university. We see the similar trends in India, wherein uh, students, they start preparing for you know, when they're as young as 10 years old, 11 years old, they start preparing for test preparation exams to make sure that they get to one of the top university or a college in India. So providing access to high quality education has been a key challenge. And I think edX solved it about eight years ago. Uh, today on this platform, we partner with 155 plus top ranking institutes of the world and offer their online courses on our platform. We represent nine of the top 10 universities such as MIT, Harvard, Berkeley, Columbia, Brown, uh, Caltech, etc. Uh, we have a plenty of colleges uh, and leading universities uh, from Asian uh, and India region. And we also work with a few thousand employers, some large organizations such as Mercedes, BCG, Microsoft, IBM around the world to train their workforce. We have over 100 million enrollments by 35 million plus learners, and uh, they come from 196 countries around the world. On this platform, we currently offer 3,000 plus courses offered by 155 plus top ranking institutes and professional bodies of the world. So if we talk about the challenge at hand today, uh, when we look at the universities, I work very closely with many Asian universities and colleges. And one of the key challenges that I constantly hear them telling us is uh, the gap between the university's offering and what employers are looking for. Many universities, they are producing unemployable graduates. I'll cite an example from India. In India, 80% of the engineering graduates are considered unemployable. The kind of salaries that they get after spending four years in an engineering college are at par with what a semi-skilled labor or a driver or a mason would get. And when we speak to the employers, the employer says that these learners are just not job ready for us. They will still be learning COBOL. They will still be learning basics of C sharp. They will be coming up with the skills which have already become obsolete right now. And one of the reason is in uh, many economies, many countries, education is highly regulated. The government or the board, they decide what their students have to learn for the next four years. And if you decide something, what your students are going to learn for the next four years, 
the technology is anyway going to become redundant or obsolete. So edX solves this problem. What we do is we bring universities, partners, and employers together to make sure that their products, that their learners are job ready. We have a corporate advisory board, which comprises the chief learning officers, chief technology officers of leading organizations around the world, such as Microsoft, IBM, GE, Accenture. Now these employers, you know, these are some of the biggest employers around the world. They guide us on what kind of skills that they look for when they hire a candidate. They guide us where the industry is moving. What kind of skill the economy would they want the universities to build? We then work with our top ranking universities to produce the content and leverage a world-class platform to make sure learners are able to learn that content, which makes them job ready, which makes them ready for tomorrow. We cover pretty much all the in-demand skills and technologies that you would require to remain relevant for tomorrow, ranging from emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science, cyber security, to traditional uh, technologies and skills such as uh, business intelligence, uh, digital marketing, operations management, uh, collaboration, soft skills. Uh, so we cover pretty much everything. Now we have taken a step forward. What we have realized is after having 35 million plus learners on the planet, uh, on, our, on our platform, we realized that now we should also work very proactively with the universities. The COVID has actually given them the much needed nudge to adapt digital learning. The faculties who were earlier apprehensive of adopting edtech are now moving forward to leverage those tools and become more efficient. In order to serve the learning needs of students and everyone, we have launched edX online campus. With this online campus, you will be able to take all the top quality courses from top uh, institutes on our edX platform, use a uh, world-class features to make sure your learners, your teachers are able to incorporate blended learning. And we have launched the most accessible platform of the world to serve the learning needs of everyone. Together, we call it edX online campus. <clears throat> what it brings to you is the content from top universities of the world, the platform tools, which allows the professors, which allows the faculty to create their own content, to add their own blended learning component, uh, to use uh, active learning pedagogy and data tools to make sure they're able to offer world-class content to their students. Plus they are able to make sure that they are able to track the progress report of their students. Now think of it this way. Today, one of your professor walks into a class and let's say they have to teach uh, the foundations of artificial, uh, artificial intelligence. Currently, the teacher would explain the concept on a blackboard. They would recite whatever is written in the book and students would follow the same. With blended learning, what colleges could do is they could more efficiently utilize the professor's time that they spend in a classroom. The professor comes with a very rich experience. That experience is crucial to be shared with the students. So instead of simply repeating what is written in the books, what colleges can do, they could leverage edX online courses, let their students learn at their own pace and convenience from those courses. So if I'm a professor and in the next one week, I have to teach my students the foundations of artificial intelligence, I will tell my students to take this course on, on my university platform, which I have created in partnership with edX online campus. I've put in a couple of courses there. Students will go and access the content. And after three days, four days, they may come back to the class and we will do blended learning. We'll learn from them. We'll <clears throat> learn from their experiences. We'll see what kind of problems and challenges that they are facing. And that's how we do a flip learning or a blended learning approach. The faculties who wants to add their own content, who wants to add, let's say, use cases or uh, hackathon projects and anything which is more specific to their curriculum, to their industry, to their geography, they could do so. So think of edX, online courses, as a digital learning 
resource and you can augment your own content on top of it and let the learners learn from the best minds in the world. And most importantly, they get a certificate from top university. So they don't just graduate with an engineering degree from your institute, but they also earn many specializations from top rank institutes of the world. Now these credentials in their profile definitely make them more employable. As per our research, we have seen 73% of the learners who take edX courses, they become more employable. They get better jobs, they get a career progression opportunity, they become more efficient at work, or it simply results in better placements and better salaries. Very quick example of how universities are leveraging MOOCs, massive open online courses. They augment their own study material on top of edX learning material, on top of edX courses. And they let the learners go through those courses. They conduct their own assessments or simply leverage the assessments which are built in every edX course. And they're able to progress, track the learner's progress report at every level. So whenever a learner has any question, whenever a learner has any doubt, they could go to the discussion forums, create their query, and they get a response either from the course team or the peers around the world who are taking the same course. Size videos, which are seven to eight minutes long, then they take graded assessments, and those graded assessments count towards their completion certificate. <clears throat> What's unique about edX is uh, we have literally taken the neuroscience at scale and employed them into our active learning pedagogy. With edX courses, we make sure that you're able to learn anywhere and anytime. It is very ubiquitous. We have made sure that we use active learning pedagogy, which is we use bite-sized videos, which are about seven to eight minutes long. So students don't get bored. And after that, they take assessments, they interact in digital uh, uh, discussion forums and Whatever courses that they take, they count towards their credits. They're able to stack them. So it's like a university semester, which has multiple courses. You can take a semester online on edX and that semester will have multiple courses. You could stack them one by one, which count towards your final degree. I'll very quickly talk about a couple of case studies. San Jose City College in US has been extensively using edX as their digital lecturer. What they simply do is they have replaced some of their foundational courses using edX courses. So students, they take the foundational prerequisite online on edX platform. And then students come to the campuses, they discuss their learning, they discuss their assignments with the professors and the professors track their progress report. The professors can go through the individual learner completion data and grant them the credits. And using this approach, they're able to leverage the technology in a very efficient manner. Be it in the classroom, be it after classroom, they're always connected. And students love this flexibility. The teachers, they don't have to create their digital learning resources from scratch. When the best of best in class content is already available out there, they don't really have to reinvent a wheel. They can simply go through our catalog of thousands of courses. We've already created stacked courses which are designed to give you certain specializations. You could simply pick up those stacks and offer it to your students. Another example is uh, the University of Iceland. Uh, during COVID time, they have extensively used edX platform. They found the platform extremely helpful, especially when the campuses were closed. What they did, they created, they had a major challenge of uh, unemployability, meeting the skill requirement of the corporates. What they did is they created a sequence of three to four edX courses. On those three to four edX courses, they created their own life project. So a student will go online on edX platform. They will take those three courses, which are mandated by the university. And after completing those three courses, the students will take the final capstone project or the life project which is designed by the university on their own platform. And once they are able to complete that life project successfully, that is a definite proof that learners are not only able to understand the concept, but they are also able to apply those concepts into practices. The end results, the students became more employable. The students became 
more skilled. And the campuses were able to leverage the best in class content, which was readily available out there. The teachers became more efficient rather than creating the courses from scratch. They simply picked and compiled the best in class content. And these programs, they did not only confine it to their own students, they made it open to learners outside of their campuses as well. So this also provided an additional source of revenue to the university because they could take these programs to students uh, who were outside their campuses as well, who were not a full-time student, more like an executive education, catered towards working professional, making them more employable. So I understand that COVID is bad for the economy, but uh, frankly, it has given the much needed nudge that we required in the tech space. Today is the moment of true transformation of education. Our teachers, they need not be worried about are machines going to replace them? Our technology, is technology going to replace them? Technology and edtech is here to make your life easier. Technology is not here to replace teachers. Technology is here to make you more efficient. An edX platform is created by academicians. It is created by universities like MIT and Harvard. And our sole goal is to provide access to higher quality education to everyone on this planet. So let's work together and make it happen. We are making edX online campus absolutely free to many colleges around the world. So if you are a college or a university and you want to provide access to online courses from top ranking universities around the world to your students, absolutely free. Please get in touch with us and we'll explain you the process. When we say absolutely free, there are no strings, there are no terms and conditions attached. Remember, edX is a non-profit venture by MIT and Harvard University. So if you want to create a digital campus using edX online courses, please feel free to get in touch with us. This is my direct email address. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for your time. I look forward to any questions that you might be having. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Amit, for your wonderful presentation. Yeah, I'm very interested <laughs> about your FX Canvas uh, plan. Yeah, so you mean, uh, I have one question. You mean free? So that's really free to to the to the to the university or to the, and the school students. So today on edX platform, if you directly go to edX.org, you will be able to take thousands of courses absolutely free as a student on audit track, but you will not be able to get a certificate. Mm -hmm. What we are trying to do is we are trying to partner with colleges, and we are providing them access to a limited catalog. They can expose that catalog to all of their students who could complete the entire course absolutely free. They will also get a certificate of completion from the universities who provide it. We embed with the university single sign-on, we embed with the, their learning management systems. So we provide the LMS integration, access to the courses on certificate track from a specific online campus catalog, absolutely free. And we also provide the learner's progress report. So students and teachers are able to see what their learners are doing, how many enrollments happened. All of this thing, which we usually monetize, we are currently offering them absolutely free. Okay. So uh, for the university side, they, they, you have a B2B model, right? <clears throat> Sounds like you will have- We do have a B2B model. So we have 3000 courses. If a university wants to take all the courses, then they will have to pay for it. We are planning to make about 100 courses absolutely free. So those courses will remain free to the students, to the university. The university will have to sign up for edX online campus. And then we provide those courses absolutely free to them. OK. Uh, all right, that's uh, it's the same uh, question that we uh, have asked in the chat. So, uh, the limitation of the student capacity on campus, on edX campus, uh, is there any uh, limitation numbers of the students? There is no limitation. There is no capping on the students. If you have hundred students, if you have a million students, you're more than welcome. 
Yeah, but for the B2B model, you will have a, a limitation. On, on, we don't. On, on there is no limitation, no restriction right. at all. All right. That sounds, uh, that's, that sounds exciting, actually. <laughs> Yeah, in actually, PMU is uh, we 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 have already got several uh, cooperation with other platform, but not edX mm -hmm. yet. So now I will you definitely, will have... I will definitely contact you <laughs> about details. Absolutely, you have my email address. Please get in touch. We're launching yeah. this program. Yes, and I think our time is up. So, uh, if anyone uh, want to uh, do any more discussion, uh, we welcome you to go to the OED Connect and uh, keep going on. All right, thank you very much, uh, Amit. Yeah. Thank you for having See me. See you, bye-bye.